Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel Civil Engineering Forum. We are in the introductory part of the Indian Standard Code 456-2000 under the subject Design of Reinforced Concrete Structures. Today we are going to talk about a very important topic for the design of any structure that is partial safety factor. We can also call it factor of safety. Now what is partial safety factor, what is its importance, necessities, criteria, these all things we are going to discuss today. So at first we'll try to understand what is partial safety factor. This is essentially used to assure that structural design does not occur any unexpected failure or presence of any deformation or defects. So basically this is for our concern that uh, the structural design what we have done does not go any unexpected failure or presence of any deformation or any defects. So as I said it is an unexpected failure and so as we don't want to have such failure we are introducing partial safety factor that is an precaution side safety side. Smaller is the partial safety factor or factor of safety higher are the chances for the design to fail and now we know that more is the safety less is the chances of failure and uh, less is the safety factor more are the chances of failure. So this was the basic introduction of partial safety factor. And uh, now we'll try to understand what are its requirements. Why do we need partial safety factor? So this is basically due to two reasons. The first one is material strength, which means that material strength may be reduced due to any reason or we would say unexpected reasons. And second one is loads. That is loads analyzed or assessed on any structure may increase due to any such reason. So both these factors we'll be discussing in detail today, where the first one is Material strength may be reduced due to the following causes. So to now we'll discuss one by one all the causes which may reduce our expected material strength. Where the first one is inadequate compaction. So while compacting the fresh concrete, due to any reason there may be some places where we are not able to give the adequate compaction. There the material strength may be reduced due to such causes. There the material strength may have been reduced due to such causes. Second one is inadequate curing. And here we all know that curing plays an important role on the strength, development and durability of concrete. And we need to do proper curing immediately after concrete placing and finishing. And sometimes due to any reason if uh, we are not able to do proper curing of the material concrete then it will not have adequate or desired strength. This was our second point. Then the third is construction faults. There may be numerous faults during the construction due to which there may be decrease in the material strength then after we are having impurities in material so for example material like cement may have numerous impurities in it due to which there may be decrement in the strength so another reason is coarse or fine aggregate which may have impurities like soil in it then our fifth point is bad weather for example if we are doing concreting in the summer then there may be evaporation of the water and the water cement ratio in our concrete which uh, is given in our concrete mix design is not adequate to give the sufficient strength. So this may be the one of the reason. Then after corrosion of reinforcement, this is one of the reason due to which we need to add uh, partial safety factor and one of the very common reason which may decrease the tensile strength of our reinforcement. Then the seventh is improper mixing. So during the preparation of fresh concrete there may be numerous reasons due to which we are not able to mix it properly and uh, honeycombing and numerous uh, faults have been seen on the surface of the concrete after deshuttering. Due to this there may be decrement in the strength of the concrete. Now we will see the criteria for material like uh, concrete and steel. For concrete partial safety factor is 1.5 and for steel our partial safety factor is 1.15. See this figure are according to Indian standard code 456-2000 and given on page number 68. So this was all about the material strength and now we will be talking about loads. Partial safety factor in load. Partial safety factors are applied in the load due to the following causes. See there may be few reasons due to which we need to add partial safety factor in loading. So the first one is error in load assessment. So while designing our structure or analyzing our structure, if we had made any uh, mistake in the calculation part, then it is known as error in load assessment. And if we add once the partial safety factor in the loading condition and with the experience, then there might not be any mistake. Then second is possible overloading. So while designing our structure, we had kept in our mind uh, regarding the purpose for which our structure has been designed. But 
due to any reason there may be increment in the loading conditions what we had predecided then after load combinations so for designing any structure we need to keep in mind uh, numerous load combinations which is very significant in the analysis of our structure there may be any error or there may be any defect then after then after our fourth point is repeated loading in case our structure faces any repeated loading at any random place then there may be chances of the failure and due to this reason we need partial safety factor and our last reason is modification in load so once the design and analysis of our structure is completed there may be change in the purpose of our building or our structure which uh, might not affect uh, the design if we have used partial safety factor since the beginning so these were few causes of using partial safety factor in loading now we'll see the criteria for partial safety factor in load as we saw in the materials bank so as given in the indian standard code 4562000 page number 68 table number 18 gives us uh, numerous values for load combination and limit state of collapse and limit state of serviceability depending on dead load live load impact load we need to calculate our partial safety factor for loading conditions so friends this is all about the terminology partial safety factor thank you for watching